How's it going everyone? It's Josh here with American Wilderness. Today I'm comparing two of the top selling folding saws uh, that campers and bushcrafters like to use. The Silky Pocket Boy and the Baco Laplander. So the Silky Pocket Boy is actually Brad's saw. I picked it up about a week ago, so it's fairly new. It has a six and three quarter inch blade, has some fairly large teeth on it, but it only cuts on the pull, it doesn't cut on the push which is one of the main reasons that people will choose other saws over this one that cut both directions, like the Baco Laplander. Uh, one of the main things that I like about this saw is the uniqueness of the locking mechanism. It locks open like that, as many folding saws do, but you can also push the lock down and open it up, and then it goes upwards like that, which is really useful for reaching some higher up branches. So, I'm gonna talk about the Baco a little bit now. Baco Laplander has an eight inch blade uh, compared to the Silky's 6.34 inch blade. This can reach some further places, but it's not that big of a difference. It has uh, a lot more teeth on it than the Silky, and the teeth cut in pull and push, which is a really useful addition to this saw. It has a plastic handle just like the, like the Silky saw does. It locks open and it locks closed which the Silky Saw only locks open, doesn't lock closed, so there is a small possibility of the Silky Saw opening up in your pocket or your backpack and cutting up some of your, uh, you know, some of your items. So, um, neither of the saws come with a solid sheath. This one comes with the, just a leather strap like this, and the Silky Saw comes with a little plastic case. So, uh, Brad actually made this little leather case for the Silky because it doesn't have a lock to keep it closed and then uh, just slide that in there. And um, you know, it holds the saw nicely, keeps it nice in there. We may do a video in the future on how to make one of these, a really useful item, a nice little pouch for you know saws, knives, things like that. All right, so let's get into some tests with these saws and then we can find out which one you prefer. All right guys, so the first saw we're gonna test out is the Silky Pocket Boy. Not sure what kind of wood this is, it was just a bit of deadfall on the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try here, to see how it does. Went through pretty clean, pretty quick. This is, wood is a little bit rotten, but um, you know, it went through pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more cuts with this just to see how it holds up. Alright guys, now I'm going to switch over to the Baco Laplander and see how this does on the same piece of wood. Here we go. Feeling that the Silky is a little bit smoother than the Baco because the Baco has this coating on it, which I think may stick to the wood when you're trying to uh, saw through a pretty thick uh, branch or something like that. All right, now I'm gonna do just one test side by side with each of these, just so you guys can see a really close comparison between the two. The Silky does feel a lot smoother going through the wood, but I really like that the Baco cuts both ways. All right, since I'm in the wood here, I just wanna do a quick test. I hear that the Silky will snap if you put too much pressure on it, and it isn't looking super flexible. If I bend it any further than this, it might uh, snap. So that's one thing to look out for when you're using the Silky. All right, works pretty well. Go ahead and do one more coat with the Baco. All 
All right, let's do a little blade test here. As you can see, this one is a bit more flexible. And the Bacos are known for not snapping at all, while the Silkies, uh, I hear a lot of bad things about the blade snapping. But I've been able to use it fine, haven't had any problems so far. All right, so laying these two saws side by side, the Baco Laplander feels and looks a little bit more heavy duty. It feels like it's not gonna break on you. The Pocket Boy doesn't either, but the blade just doesn't feel as strong. It feels a little bit more brittle and like it'll snap easier. But, you know, it's not a huge deal because both companies do sell replacement blades for these saws. But um, the Baco, I think, cuts a little bit faster because the, the serrations on the blade cut both ways while the pocket boys only cut while you're pulling, not when you're pushing. But that pull and push does help it go through the wood a little bit smoother, while the Baco feels like it's getting stuck here and there just because of the serrations. And also, the coating on the blade, on the website they say it's supposed to help it go through the wood a bit smoother, but as you can see, it's wearing away, and I think it's actually making the blade stick when it's deep in the wood, as opposed to helping it glide smoothly through there. Uh, the pocket boy does have a polished finish on the blade, so it goes through the wood nice and smooth. Handle wise, I think I prefer the pocket boy's handle, it's a little bit more comfortable in the hand. The rubber is a little bit more forgiving than the rubber on the Baco handle. But I, I do like the Baco locks closed while the pocket boy doesn't. But the pocket boy does have that uh, upper lock, which helps you get some higher branches. So overall, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to say which one is better. I think overall, I will prefer the Baco just because I've had more experience with it and I just trust it a little bit more than the Pocket Boy. But if you're just doing yard work and things like that, both saws will work fine. If you're out camping in the woods, both saws will work fine. I'll let you guys decide which one you like better based on what you've seen today. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, please give a thumbs up on the video and comment with any suggestions of future videos we can do. I'm Josh with American Wilderness. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.